Today we're going to be doing a really quick video on mouse look in 2D. Let's say that we're in a top-down situation and you have a character that you want to rotate to face where your mouse is pointing. That might be because you want to shoot or move in that direction. I'll show you a really quick set of code to get you up and running really quickly. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Let's say that we have a scene where we have a top-down perspective and we have a ship that already moves in an up-down and left-to-right sort of way and we're happy about that because we can sort of play in a Ga Galaga style type of game but we want to change it now so that we can rotate for, depending on where our mouse is looking. Let's quickly just look at our ship movement code because we're about to alter that. We're taking in horizontal and vertical uh, input, get access here, and then we're multiplying it by a certain force and then we're taking that value and using rigidbody.addForce to make our ship move up and down, left and right. Now, let's quickly shift this and apply our mouse look so that um, we can rotate our ship's facing depending on where our mouse is. Let's just quickly look at the code. Basically, there's three lines to it. The first line grabs the mouse's position and subtracts where our ship is, and it creates a direction or a vector. So let's say that the ship is here and our mouse is here. It's going to draw a line and decide what that direction is. From that direction, then the second line basically just turns that direction or vector into an, a radian value. We then translate that value from radian to degrees and then apply an offset. That turns into our angle of rotation. Finally, we take our, that angle of rotation and apply it to our ship's rotation. The script is attached to um, the ship's, ob ship's game object. And so when we address the transform, we're telling that ship to rotate. I've added this um, angle offset because depending on how your sprite um, is imported, it may be facing a different direction. So you may have to change this value in the inspector. For me, I'm setting it negative 90. I'm gonna set this to zero to show you what it looks like. My ship normally, if I have my mouse look around, it's off by 90 degrees. And so I need to apply an offset of negative 90 to make it look correctly here. So now that this is working, I'm going to press up and you'll notice that my ship still moves up in this axis right here. And if I press left or right, then it's moving that those directions. And the ship is still looking where my mouse is, but it's not traveling in that direction. How do we adjust that? Let's go back into a ship movement code. And let's comment out this movement where we apply the force in the horizontal and vertical axes. Basically, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go rigid body and still add force, but now in this case, we're going to use our transforms uh, direction, and that's going to be up. Wherever the up is in terms of its own direction and not the vector two or vector three, that's world space. We're taking whatever the ship's um, notion of what up is and multiplying it by our vertical value because I only want the ship to move when I press up or down. So let's try this out. This should work. Now I have my ship facing. Oh, the guy set my offset to negative 90 again. And I have my ship facing wherever my mouse is and let's move in this direction. If I press up, then it's moving in that direction. If I change direction and I still press up and moving that. If I press backwards, it's moving in the opposite direction. So if I press fire now, my ship also fires in that direction because I've told the instantiation code to take the rotation of my ship when I spawn my bullets, negative 90. Cool. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later.